morning, it's six o'clock. Welcome along to Daybreak on Tuesday the 3rd of January 2012. Yes, Happy New Year and on the programme this morning questions are being asked about why a man who shot three women dead and killed himself at a house in County Durham was allowed to own six guns. And a decision on whether the NHS should pay for up to 50,000 women to have 40 breast implants removed could be made today. Also this morning, we're meeting the mother of two who decided to give away her kidney to a stranger after a chance meeting at a party. We've got the legends Torval and Dean in the <laughs> studio later chatting about this lot, the new Dancing on Ice lineup. Steve will have the rundown on the contenders before seven. And he's also going to tell us how Alicia Dixon will be putting her talents to a different use this year. Lucy's got your weather. Thanks, Dan. Good morning. Happy New Year. Well, for most of us, as we head back to work after the festive break, exceptionally windy, wet weather to come uh, this morning. Gale force winds, damaging gusts, heavy, persistent rain, giving some very tricky driving conditions. The full forecast in just a little while. Oh dear, not a great day to go back to work, really. Not good, not good. At 10 past 6, what's happening where you are? Now, though, here's Tasman with the latest news headlines. Morning, Tasman. Thank you, Dan. Good morning. Police have named three women shot dead at a house in County Durham. It's thought Michael Atherton killed his partner as well as her sister and niece before shooting himself. They're investigating why he was allowed to own six firearms while reportedly suffering from depression. Greg Eastall is at the house in Horden with us. Good morning, Greg. Yes, good morning. Well, the street behind me remains sealed off. The community still... For me, I'll see you at about 10 past 7. Bye-bye. Nearly 13 minutes past six. Time for a bit of sport with yes. uh, Gavin. Um, Arsenal fans, and there are a few of them that hang around <laughs> here, are. have made themselves scarce. <laughs> they have, yeah, I know. Bit. I wanted to make myself scarce as well, being a gunner as well. Oh, you, I forgot. It's oh, true. Go on then. Well, there was Don't plenty of late drama. Shame. <laughs> yeah, the update, go to our website, itv.com slash daybreak. Good morning, it's 7 o'clock. Welcome to Daybreak on Tuesday the 3rd of January. On the programme this morning, questions are being asked about why a man who shot three women dead and killed himself at a house in County Durham was allowed to own six guns. And a decision on whether the NHS will have to pay for up to 50,000 women to have 40 breast implants removed will be made today. We're going to speak to one woman who has the implants in question. Also to come this morning, some inspiration perhaps to kickstart your New Year diet. We'll meet the men who lost a combined 18 stones between them, thanks to ITV's The Biggest Loser, but have they kept it off? And we're asking if there's such a thing as school phobia. We're about to head off to school, you may feel that's true, but many children getting ready for the new term won't go through this. We're meeting one 12-year-old who deals with extreme anxiety and often physical pain every morning. And experts say he's not alone. And after half past, it's a fresh start for these two. Alex Reed and Chantelle Houghton will be here to explain why 2012 looks set to be their best yet. And at 10 past 7, what's happening where you are this morning? Now, here's Tasman with the latest news this morning. Thank you, Dan. Good morning. Police investigating a gun attack in County Durham, which killed three women, have referred themselves to the Independent Police Complaints Commission. Hi there, really big showbiz news now. Alicia Dixon is to leave Strictly Come Dancing. Steve. Shock horror. This I is all know. kind of rushed through. Good morning, it is 8 o'clock. Welcome to Daybreak and 2012. It's uh, Tuesday the 3rd of January. On the programme this morning, questions are being asked about why a man who shot three women dead and killed himself at a house in County Durham was allowed to own six guns. Also this morning, we're talking about the extreme kindness of strangers. We meet the mum of two who donated a kidney to someone she just met at a party. There they are on the sofa 
Hearing more about that story a little bit later on. And we have skating royalty, Jane Torval and Christopher Dean. They'll be here to reveal this year's Dancing on Ice lineup. Uh, morning to those guys after 8.30. Our very own royalty. Oh, yes. Lorraine it's Kelly, official. OBE, will be chatting to Nicola <laughs> Roberts about her latest solo single. Let's get the news first, though. Here's Tasmin. Thank you, Kate. Good morning. Police in County Durham have referred themselves to the independent police. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dan. Good morning to you. Well, yes. Temperatures dipping again, turning frosty and icy come dawn. Find out what's in store for the next five days on our website, itv.com slash daybreak. Fantastic uh, stars, don't we, on this very sofa. You were, what, 13th, weren't you? Top 13, yeah. strictly 2011. <laughs> Brilliant. Where were you on Dancing on Ice, Hillary? Week six. Week six? <laughs> what week were you good. on that dancing show? I was show? knocked out week seven, actually. Oh, Who'd have thought it? Garraway's the best out of all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on so many You've levels. You must have fond You're memories so of that show. Oh, Looking forward what to seeing a fantastic it this weekend. Production. Very fond memories. Wonderful to do. Still got the injuries. <laughs> but, but no regrets. We send everybody away with a limp. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, good luck this weekend. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you for seeing the new series. You. And uh, we're back tomorrow with Pam St. Clements. Yeah. Here's the rain. Hello there. Good morning to you. After the break, I'll be talking to Dan.